Hey there, Service Pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're going to talk about using statuses and substatuses for jobs and workies. Statuses are a powerful tool that you can use to define and organize your workflow for jobs. Statuses and workies are predefined and cannot be changed, but Workies does allow you to create substatuses so that you can add some more detail to the actual state of a job on your account. Let's get started. To update a job status, we'll need to open up a job page. Go ahead and select jobs from the sidebar navigation, and then select the job you want to update from the list. By default, your Workies account will come equipped with six statuses to choose from. Submitted, in progress, canceled, done, pending, and done pending approval. Here's a point I really want to get across. To get the most accurate insights for how your business is performing, it's really important that all of your jobs end up under one of two statuses, done or canceled. We strongly recommend that you never delete a job that's been canceled. Okay, here's an example of a job that goes down the path of being marked as done. When creating jobs in Workies, jobs will automatically be assigned a status of submitted. You can update a job to in progress once the work is started and then to done once the work is complete. To update a job status, go ahead and select the drop down menu right here and then choose the status that reflects the actual stage of the work and ultimately what needs to come next. And here's a quick tip. You can easily update the job status from several different places across the web app, including the schedule page and the jobs page. Just select the job and then make the quick edit from the sidebar that pops up on the right side of the page. From the jobs page, you can also filter out jobs by status so that you can really stay on top of things. You'll see tabs for submitted, in progress, and pending. Once a job is moved to done or canceled, those jobs will only be available from the jobs report page. To open that page, hit reports on the sidebar navigation and then select jobs right here. You can use the filter menu to only display jobs that have been done or canceled. You can also check out the job statistics report to get a visual breakdown of how many jobs your company has marked done versus canceled over a certain period of time. Now let's talk about substatuses. The default statuses on your account are a pretty standard cycle for jobs in most field service industries, but some businesses need a little bit more detail when it comes to really describing the stage of a job. For example, instead of simply saying that a job is in progress, you may want to specify that the field tech is on their way versus actually performing the work. If a job is marked as pending, you may want to explain that you're waiting for parts versus rescheduling to a different date. If a job is canceled, you may want insight on whether that happened because the field tech didn't arrive on time or the customer decided the job was too expensive. That's where substatuses come in. They're an extension of the parent status that help you provide the detail that your business needs. To create a substatus, go ahead and select the settings gear icon in the navigation bar and then select settings. Under job settings, select substatus. Go ahead and select the add new button right here. Creating a substatus is pretty simple. Just choose the parent status you want the substatus to exist under, give the substatus a name, and then choose a color. I'm gonna create a substatus under canceled called too expensive. I'll choose the color red and then hit save. Now whenever a customer decides a job we'd agreed upon is too expensive, I can update the status accordingly. This way the reports clearly indicate how many jobs were canceled because of a high price tag versus those that were canceled for other reasons. So that's it. You're all set to start keeping track of your jobs using statuses and substatuses. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help improve your growing business. And as always, if you have any questions, we're here to help. Thanks for watching.